Good morning, everyone. Jen Hamilton here. I'm um, just going to do a couple videos. You'll be seeing a lot more of me on here. Uh, Scott and I are going to be starting a ministry very soon, and so you'll be seeing us a lot more. So I'm just kind of putting some videos out there just to get uh, more used to doing this stuff and um, talking to you all on this platform. So I'm just going to talk a little bit about what I was saying uh, on a Facebook post I made um, last week, I believe. Uh, it's one of my biggest pet peeves, and that's false humility. I've posted about that a few times, if you follow me at all. Um, I, I care about false humility because uh, I used to have false humility. Um, it is a religious spirit. Um, on my post, I said false humility equals powerlessness. Um, and what I, what I realized is, uh, you know, after God gave me revelation and into what this is and how I was doing it, um, I realized it was keep, keeping me from greater sanctification. It was keeping me from the greater things of Christ. I was a believer, believed in Jesus, um, loved Jesus, loved God. Uh, I was doing stuff, um, but I always had the mentality of, um, oh no, I'm, uh, you know, I'm not like those people or um no, i i'm not good enough you know i mean i'll just be quiet and do my little thing and and you know do this and do that um you know i could never be like jesus i mean he's god um you know even though he came as me <laughs> um i could never be like that um and so we you know by saying things like that and having those kind of things in my mind or coming out of my mouth it was keeping me from even trying you know to do more uh, in Christ, um, you know, I think a lot of people feel like once you believe, um, that that's it, you know, and we just kind of do whatever. We just kind of go along in our life and, and, you know, we help out here and we help out there and, and, you know, that's it. But, you know, Jesus has a lot more for us. Um, he said, uh, you know, the, the works that I do, you will also do and greater works you will do. And so everything that Jesus did, uh, we are able to do. Um, he came as man and he was fully man and while still being fully God. Um, you know, I see Jesus as being a, just a fully realized Christian. <laughs> He's, he is a fully realized, uh, man who, uh, has the most ultimate, perfect faith and hope in God, the father. And the, he means us to have that same thing. Um, when we come after him, we inherit, um, we inherit what he has. We inherit, how, you know, how he was. And so we can do that. Any, everything that he did, we can do and greater, greater things. So, you know, when we first believe we receive the Holy Spirit and that is God, God in us. He is the third person of God and he dwells in our bodies. Um, and so, you know, we need to take that seriously. So false humility, um, you know, we've got to overcome that and, and realize God does have more for us, that Jesus di does mean for us and that we can, uh, does mean more for us and that we can do more and have more because of him, um, because of the Holy Spirit in us. And so, you know, one of my passions is to, um, to help Christians, you know, uh, elevate in their walk with Christ, um, to go from a convert, uh, to become a Christian, to being a full disciple, um, that, that leads into sainthood. And so, um, sorry about that. That was my computer. <laughs> um, so going back to, um, false humility, the, the flip side of false humility is, uh, meekness. So the Bible talks about meekness. Um, it says that Moses was the most meek man to ever, ever live. Um, what is meekness? Well, on my Facebook post, I like it. I gave an example of, um, of meekness through the series of Boba Fett. Um, that was a series on Disney plus and it was like a year, year and a half ago. As I'm watching it, I'm realizing, wow, you know, his meekness really stood out to me. And I thought, what a great example of meekness. Um, you know, Boba Fett is a very strong character. He's a warrior, bounty hunter. Um, he's defeated, um, you know, big monsters and, <laughs> and, and space creatures and, and, you know, whatever. Um, but he's, you know, we see him, you know, most men love Boba Fett. He's very cool. Um, he's a, kind of a bad guy, you know, but, uh, but he's his own guy, you know, he's his own person. He doesn't really, um, you know, he's not really under anyone's, uh, foot. Um, 
so, you know, when I watched the series and saw Boba Fett, um, he, he seems to come into his own. He inherits, you know, a new property, um, I think from uh, Jabba the Hutt. I think he takes over his place, but I could be wrong on that. Um, but he's threatened, you know, this other governor or mayor wants to take it from him. And um, although he has full rights to it, uh, and he stands very firm in the show, but barely fights. And that's what meekness is. Um, it's likened to a warrior who knows when to sheathe, sheathe, uh, sheathe his sword. And that's how Boba Fett was. He, you know, he um, worked things out diplomatically as much as he could. Um, didn't fight unless he was being attacked. Um, but he, he had a, a firmness and a confidence in him that I thought really stood out in the movie. I thought they did it, or the show, I thought they did a really good job. Um, with his character and showing and displaying meekness. And that's how Christians are supposed to be. You're supposed to be meek. You're supposed to be very, um, very humble, uh, yet strong and powerful, um, but holding back our power so as not to hurt others. You know, what Christ has for us um, through the cross and through the indwelling of the Holy Spirit in each of us um, you know, he gives us power, you know, Acts 1-8, and you will receive power and the Holy Spirit comes upon you. Um, and so we have that and, you know, God wants us to exercise any power that he gives us through love. Uh, and so we, you know, we never, we never uh, curse with our mouths or, or do anything um, that would hurt others, but we do everything out of love. And so we want to bless with our mouth and bless with our actions, um, which you know, has power, you know, love is a power. Um, in Corinthians, uh, I think it was first Corinthians, Paul says, he'll, you know, he'll show us a still greater way. And then he starts to talk about the power of love. Um, but yet we are, we are confident. We are strong. We are courageous. Um, we are bold in that love, that power. And so, you know, I would love to see Christians just have a, a confidence and a boldness in their love um, that would nothing would hold them back. Um, another post that I made that I'll talk more on later is is saints. I feel like this is the year of the saints. One of my passions is to help believers uh, come into sainthood. Um, you know, sainthood is not just a, a point on a on a line, but rather a spectrum, right? Where we're it's a journey, and we know that Christianity is a journey. It's not just conversion and then that's it. Um, we have a, a journey to to go on, and so sainthood is one of those callings. You know, Jesus said, "Many are called, um, but few are chosen." And so, you know, be chosen. Be be a saint, be one that, that makes it, you know, on that narrow path. Um, you know, we're all called, you know, to do that. All those who believe in Jesus, we're all called. And so we want to, we have to strive to, you know, to strive in that calling, be worthy of that calling and, and make it, um, and be, be utilized, um, you know, be utilized in that way. So I, I love helping Christians to elevate in their walk, to realize the greater things of Christ. So, all right. Love you guys. And, um, you'll be seeing more of me. Have a great day.